There are many beliefs in the Game of Thrones universe, but none became a fundamental force in the story, as the belief in the Lord of Light and the prophecies of the prince that was promised did. The most famous believer in the Lord of Light is Melisandre, a red priestess who fought alongside the men during the long night. But Melisandre is not the only priestess we saw in Game of Thrones. In fact, thousands of fans have theorized that a woman who was shown in the series could be responsible for Daenerys' resurrection. In this video, we'll be talking about Kinvara, the red priestess who resurrects Daenerys Targaryen. And if you like everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Kinvara's origin in Game of Thrones is unknown, but we can assume she has the same place of origin as Melisandre, possibly from the darker regions of Essos. Kinvara is a red priestess of the Lord of Light. The belief in the Lord of Light is the only dualistic one in the world. That is, they believe that there is a cosmic dualism, an eternal war between light and darkness. Rualer versus the Great Other. Life and Death. As part of the training of the Red Priestesses in Essos, they are taught to perform rituals and magic illusions. Up until a certain point in the history of this world, it was thought that this religion was simply a lie. That the priests of the Lord of Light were simply magicians who were dedicated to deceiving people. And to a certain extent, they were right. It is not until after the dragons are born, that we begin to see more magical results from the rituals of the Lord of Light. Now, understanding the perspective that people had of the Red Priestesses, we can better understand the interaction between Kinvara, Tyrion Lannister, and Varys. In the fifth episode of the sixth season of Game of Thrones, Kinvara comes to the throne of the Mother of Dragons, and here they have a very interesting conversation. I know from personal experience how uncomfortable the journey can be. Thank you for traveling all this way. We'd hope that we could somehow persuade you to... You don't need to persuade me. Daenerys Stormborn is the one who was promised. I came to help. This part of the conversation is very significant because it shows us the insight that some believers had about the prophecies. Melisandre first thought Stannis was the prince that was promised, and then she thought it was Jon Snow. However, Kinvara claims that this messianic figure was actually Daenerys Targaryen. The prophecy of the prince that was promised is one of the most important elements in this universe. A secret in the Targaryen lineage and in the religion of the Lord of Light itself. It is believed that from the dragon's lineage, a Targaryen prince or princess will be born who will lead the men in the battle for survival. Although we can debate whether or not Daenerys fulfills this prophecy. What is important about this scene is that some people thought Daenerys was a messiah. From the fire she was reborn to remake the world. She has freed the slaves from their chains and crucified the masters for their sins. Her dragons are fire made flesh, a gift from the Lord of Light and the Long Bridge of Atlantis. The dragons will purify non-believers by the thousands, burning their sins and flesh away. This part of the conversation gets a bit dark. Kinvara states that Daenerys will purify the world through dragon fire. For believers in the Lord of Light, fire is a means of purifying things, and Daenerys will purify the world. Tyrion is surprised because Kinvara mentions to him that he has already heard this as if she can somehow read the Lannister's mind. This is common among the Red Priestesses and is one of the skills they use to convince others that their beliefs are real. Tyrion is not so keen on the idea of purifying the world with dragons and tells her that Daenerys has followers with many beliefs. Kinvara understands and agrees to help with diplomacy in the city. However, Varys is not very happy with Kinvara and tells her about Melisandre. Stannis Baratheon was anointed as the Chosen One by one of your priestesses. He attacked King's Landing and was soundly defeated by the man standing beside me. He'd been defeated again, and this time... This time at Winterfell, 
and this time for good. Varys doesn't just talk about Stannis' defeats or the flaws in Melisandre's prophecies. Varys tells Kinvara this because he hates magic deeply. Let's remember that Varys was subjected to a magic ritual when he was just a child, causing him to lose important parts of himself. But Kinvara tells them both that servants sometimes make mistakes, and reminds Varys of what he experienced. Everyone is what they are, and where they are for a reason. Take what happened to you, Lord Varys, when you were a child. If not for your mutilation at the hand of a second-rate sorcerer, you wouldn't be here. Knowledge has made you powerful. But there's still so much you don't know. Do you remember what you heard that night? When the sorcerer tossed your parts in the fire? You heard a voice call out from the flames, do you remember? Should I tell you what the voice said? Should I tell you the name of the one who spoke? We serve the same queen. If you are her true friend, you have nothing to fear from me. The fact that Tyrion and Varys ask for political help of sorts from Kinvara and that Kinvara talks about how she will send royal arrest servants to talk about Daenerys, shows that she is in a position of power. Some have theorized that Kinvara is far more powerful than Melisandre, and could even be her master. Now then, what does this all mean for the future of Game of Thrones? Kinvara believes that Daenerys is the prince that was promised, the messiah of her beliefs. She believes that dragons are sent by her god, and she kept talking about Daenerys as the Dragon Queen conquered Westeros. It is unknown what happened to Kinvara, but it is believed that she is currently in the temple in Volantis. The temple of the world's largest Lord of Light. Coincidentally, it is the place where Drogon is heading to at the end of Game of Thrones. The pieces are on the board, and we could see how Kinvara performs the ritual to resurrect Daenerys. Perhaps Daenerys needs to die and resurrect to become the princess that was promised. Without a doubt, Kinvara is one of the most interesting characters in the Game of Thrones universe, and although we only saw her for a short time, I think she could have a key role in the Game of Thrones sequel, being responsible for resurrecting the Mother of Dragons. But tell me what do you think about Kinvara? Will we see her in the Game of Thrones sequel? Do you think like me that she would be the one to resurrect Daenerys? And if you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all the videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven